You're watching Fox 13, the most powerful name in local news. Welcome back. It's 710 right now. Casey Anthony is about to spend her last week in jail. She's going to be released July 17th. That's a week from Sunday. But as Fox's Shannon Butler reports, she'll be leaving under extra tight security. And of course, there are still lots of questions surrounding Casey's case. And to answer them, we have our weekend attorney in today, Felix Vega. Good morning again, Risa. Good morning with the Hillsborough County State Attorney's Office joining us. Okay, we have to talk about this because a lot has happened since we last spoke. Yes. Casey Anthony not guilty. We talked about this weeks ago. It was about the burden of proof and the jury found there wasn't enough proof. So you're not surprised about how this all happened. Not too terribly surprised based on what the law was. And we talked about that over and over again. What the the uh, prosecutors needed to prove and what the jury was going to have to consider was what act killed Kaylee Anthony. And from what I've heard from all the jurors that have come forward so far, the alternate jurors, they seem to have been hung up on that more than anything, more than the forensic evidence, more than any other aspect of Kay or Casey Anthony's lies. They were really hung up on the cause of death and they really couldn't get to that act to get to first degree murder, second degree murder, or even manslaughter. It's the law and you got to follow the rules. And that doesn't mean they don't believe. They may believe believe that she's guilty in their head, but whether right. to prove it, I mean, to, to convict different story, you got to follow the rules. As all three of us, you, me and Sheena have talked about this over and over again, they had to get to the burden of proof. They also mm -hmm. had to, whether or not she's guilty in their minds is one thing, whether or not they can prove it based on what happened in court, that's a separate issue altogether. Angry or not, that's what it all comes down exactly. to, folks. Okay, so let's talk about Kaylee's Law. That's coming up. What is that all about? This was a bill that was introduced yesterday, um, or actually on Thursday, by Representative Scott Plakin of Longwood and also uh, Jose Diaz out of Miami. Basically what it does is criminalizes a lot of the, the actions of Casey Anthony that so many people were upset about, her lies and what happened to Kaylee in the meantime. Basically, if a child under 12 years old goes missing for 48 hours, the parents or a caregiver is required to report it to the authorities. If they don't, it's a third degree felony. If something happens to that child like it did in this case with Kaylee, then it's a second degree felony and they face up to uh, 15 years in prison. The other uh, reporting requirement is that they have to report uh, the death of the child within two hours after learning of the death and also two hours after or two hours after a corpse is found. One of the things that we see on the screen right now, that's one of the websites, change.org, that's dealing with Kaylee's Law because this is something that's gaining national momentum mm -hmm. right now. Last night when I went online, I was researching this a little bit more. Over 807,000 people had already signed petitions online all across the United States to have a similar law enacted in their states alone. Well, what, what are, what's the difference from the current laws we already have in place? Is there this something is a similar? law that, that's very specific to a situation that like happened in Kaylee's case mm -hmm. because it deals with the actions of Casey Anthony and also her lies, her cover up, all the things that people were really upset about. And it also covers not only intentional acts, but also a word that was thrown around a lot in the newsroom, culpable negligence. So if she's negligent or intentionally causes the disappearance of the child, that's what this law would cover. Okay, let's talk about Zanny the Nanny. Zenaida Gonzalez back in this uh, scene uh, here. Yes. There she is. Uh, what's the lawsuit about with her? She filed a defamation suit before the murder trial even started, saying that because of uh, Casey Anthony's lies and her actions, talking about Zenaida Fernandez Gonzalez or A. Zenaida Fernandez Gonzalez, that she had to move, that she, her, she was forced out of her community, that she lost her job, all these different things that uh, were direct actions of Casey Anthony. The problem that a lot of legal experts are uh, saying right now is the fact that because Casey's already admitted that this was a lie and that no one believes anything that Casey Anthony is saying that you, there's really no defamation because they don't believe that Fernandez is in fact a kidnapper. So she might have some problems with that suit in the end. Okay, that's your uh, All good legal stuff. take. Yes. Yeah, it continues and lots more is going to be coming up. So we want to thank you for uh, joining us and helping us out through this case, but I'm sure we're going to be seeing you again and we Definitely. appreciate all your, your legal insight. On I've enjoyed all of this and I've really enjoyed you know sharing this experience with you guys and also educating everyone uh, out there, all of our viewers. It's a really good take on the legal system and really gave us some insight into what goes on every day as prosecutors, defense attorneys, and the public. Okay, thank you very much. Felix Thanks, Vega. On to other news now. Yesterday, you know, was quite a wet day.